God. Oh, on it. What do we got? Ugh. Point blank to the jaw, upper trajectory looks like a nine millimeter. Ow. Somebody wanted to make a point. Is this too nice for the perp to have left behind? Maybe it's the victims. I don't suppose you found the gun that comes with this lovely holster. Nothing in the car. No, we didn't find the weapon. Of course not. That would make it too simple, wouldn't it? You got an idea on the body? You're going to love this one. Whoa, Judge Warren Varela. What? I want you to steal this crime scene tighter than an accountant's ass. Where are we on the judge's last knowns? Well, he arrived at work at 9.30, went into conference until 11, then took a long lunch. Afternoons, he often spent at the library, told his secretary he needed time alone. To think deep legal thoughts behind the wheel of his caddy, fly open to the breeze. Did he make it home last night? According to his wife, no. Last time she saw him, he was pulling out of his driveway with a coffee mug on top of the car. She ran a half block to stop him, but it fell off, shattered, and so was she. Did she worry when he didn't come home? She's not talking. Well, what was he doing on a pier in the middle of the night? Know anyone who wanted Judge Varela dead? It'd be about 2,000 convicts. Any one of them could have put a hit out on him or done it themselves once they were out for good behavior. What about something more personal? Meaning what? A business relationship. He had a few blue chip stocks, but otherwise the business of the court was his whole life. Did he have a girlfriend? No, definitely not. No? Look, I heard about the other bullet, the one in his... He sentenced lots of sex offenders. We have a whole file of threats on his life. Mm -hmm. Any of them recently paroled? Help yourself. I hope you find who did this. So do we. No, I mean, I'd still be flipping burgers at the hamburger heaven if it weren't for Judge Farella. Excuse me. Never had a judge before. Nervous? Nah. So which shot came first, head or? Uh... Genitals. Tremendous loss of blood. So the guy's sitting behind the wheel of his caddy, bleeding out. How long? Minute, maybe two. Then the headshot. Close range? Second shot was fired from maybe a foot away. Perp must have really enjoyed watching this guy suffer. That or the perp couldn't decide on what to do. Well, there's something else. He ejaculated a few minutes before he was shot. Anything else along those lines? Hair, fiber? Saliva on his glands. Put a rush on it for DNA. Plus, malate, microcrystalline wax, red dye number 21. Which is? Cherry glow lipstick. The killer orally copped them? I think the weeping widow has had enough time to grieve. When we notified you yesterday, you still said... can't believe this is happening. You said that your husband didn't come home that night. He didn't. Were you worried? Uh, he always works late. I'm, I'm used to going to sleep alone. And when he wasn't there in the morning? Well, he's always gone to the office before I get up. It doesn't appear that you spend any time with your husband. You're not married, are you? No. Was the judge satisfied at home? What are you saying? We have reason to believe his attacker was a woman. Well, that's hard to believe. He was a friend to women. Ma'am, was your husband seeing another woman? Uh, I loved my husband. Is this necessary? Yes, it is. Can you tell us where you were the night he died? I was at the club. And where did you go after the club? And then I came home alone. Ma'am, was your husband having an affair? If Warren were having an affair, well, I'd be the last to know, wouldn't I? Protecting the judge's good name? Maybe it's about protecting his pension. Supposing it was a hit, some mob deal gone bad. Okay. Public officials commit a felony, they lose their pension. She loses the judge's death benefits? Maybe. Who's next on the list of friends? Deputy Director of the Women's Action Committee, is that right? Well, it's just a title. I lobby for women's movements up in Albany, basically. <laughs> How well did you know Judge Varela? Not very well, personally, but we all respected him very much. We all? Yes, the women's movement. We lost a great champion in Judge Varela. Yeah, we know. Together, we're safe. The governor asked me to come down to help in the memorial service. If there's anything that you need in your investigation, his office will make it available. What about his enemies? What about them? Anyone want him dead up in Albany? You're joking. What do you mean? Well, I would check out the wife beaters and the rapists that he put away first if I were you. Thanks for the advice. Call me anytime. We will. 
Look, I didn't call you guys. You bitch! I didn't call you guys! I didn't call you guys! Stay away from her! Get down! Yeah, you didn't do nothing! Shut up! Get off! I didn't do nothing! Get off! Yeah, you're a real saint! Don't you be coming back here expecting to sleep in my bed! Yeah, I got plenty of beds and I don't need yours! That's right, there's a lot of cops where you're going, all right? Hey, back up, tough guy! Come on! I thought she was messing with me. Well, she's the one who filed the TRO, so it looks like you were messing with her. And we made up. Where were you Tuesday night? You know a judge named Warren Varela? Nah. Nah. Funny. You threatened him in open court. Yeah, got it right here. I was mad. You? I didn't do nothing to his fat ass. What's he whining about? Dead men don't whine. Now, you've been picked up on weapons charges before. You tech nine man, huh? Hey, if I still had a gun, it wouldn't be no nine mil. Man, no style. You buy him a gun shows in Kmart before the Calvin buying crowd. Mm. I got imagination. All right, well, Fino, we're just messing with you. But at least we now know that your favorite weapon's the heat-seeking missile. So let's try this one more time. Where were you Tuesday night? That's parenting classes. You could check it out. OK, your kid breaks curfew. What do you do? What, what's curfew? Why were you paroled? You see, we've been checking you out, and you threatened to kill the judge at your parole hearing, and three days later, you're out? Ask my accountant. Very funny. Not to me, it wasn't. 2,226 bucks. Well, lawyers aren't cheap. What'd you expect? No, not to my lawyer, to that fat judge. Oh, so you bribed the judge, of course. It's very original, Delfino. He said I had to give to some charity or else. Bye-bye. I didn't do nothing. Of course you did. You failed the parenting midterm. I can't possibly keep track of the 400 phone calls I get a day. Even from a judge moments before he was shot to death? Well, I didn't put that together until now. It's some procedural thing. This is weird. What is? Well, we're from New York City, and you're treating us like we're the Hicks from upstate. That's silly. But even the dumbest detective knows how to run a computer search. I'm not following you. You worked for Judge Varela, right? Oh, what, that Judge Varela? Mm-hmm. And thanks to him and his recommendation, you can now afford these lovely suits. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, some little computer glitch brought back a number of your old uh, boyfriends. Drug charges, hooking. I was under 18. I wasn't hooking, and they were boyfriends. Those charges have been expunged. So the judge gave you a fresh start. What we want to know is what he got from you. Sexual favors? Oh, come on. This was politics. Politics? Politics is picking up the phone and getting a guy who really has been rehabilitated out of prison so that he can support his wife and family and get them off of welfare. Is that a crime? No. But bribery is. I know judges who use calling cards to phone their wives from their chambers just to avoid the hint of any impropriety. I know housewives who call the plumber on the payphone, so? So, was he cheating on his wife or was he taking money for parole or both? When we cross-reference his cases and his charities, he's got dozens of donations for two, three thousand at a time. We got two thousand two hundred and twenty-six dollars from a Delfino Melendez. Yeah, uh, to a women's shelter. What? Together we're safe. So, so they're all from the wives and from the girlfriends of guys that Judge sent away, and now they're out. Wow, four point seven million in one year. It's pretty good for a fledgling charity. Before we get started, these are the ground rules. I don't answer any questions about what I do. Relax, and... we're not interested in you. This is a homicide investigation. The two constants so far are sex and money. And you followed the money to me. That's right. Judge Varela would get donations out of his parolees. All right, Ms. Waterbury, let's just stop, OK? We're not going to get anywhere with euphemisms. We're not talking about donations. We're talking about bribes, right? They've beaten and raped women. He convinced them that if they gave money to the women's shelter, that it helped their image. PR for rehabilitated rapists, great. And you would turn these donations into bribes for the parole board. Is that it? When the judge would call me and say yes or no on a certain parole vote, they were in his pocket. OK. So what was in it for Judge Varela? The sex. They run the take. They didn't care about those women on their knees. 